Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. You can see that I have the Sh Shadowland Tarot out, the lurid yellow Shadowland Tarot, uh, which I always use when uh, things are going a bit pear-shaped for someone. And uh, things seem to be going a bit pear-shaped, possibly for better up. And the reason I say that is because I have been looking at their Twitter feed and it's not a pretty sight. We all know that Prince Harry is going to be involved in uh, uh, some kind of chat in the next few days uh, with Serena William and some other people talking about mental health, the usual thing, and taking breaks and all of that, how taking breaks is good for your mental health. And... Um, of course, in on the Twitter feed, Better Up is trying to promote this uh, chat. You have to pay to get access to it. It's not a freebie at all. And uh, one of their tweets uh, was, for instance, where are you spending energy that could be better used elsewhere? And the comments are spectacular in their negativity and um, their wit. Uh, Better App is being absolutely pilloried. Prince Harry is being absolutely pilloried. Better App so far have left the comments there. I don't know for how much longer. Uh, but somebody wrote, for instance, I'm whining about being cut off financially because I retired from my job. Nobody made my cat a prince, so he won't get security. And if I travel to the UK, my cat has been told he won't get protection from the Met. He's really pissed about that. At least I don't have bunions, they say. And uh, that is just an example. There are many, many, many more uh, along those lines. So I'm going to be doing a reading using the Shadowlands Tarot. Just one tonight. It's very, very hot here in South Africa. Unbearably hot. And I'm melting as I stand here doing this reading. So I'm going to be looking at the situation from Better App's point of view. We've already had Netflix and Spotify come out guns blazing at Harry and Meghan. And I want to know uh, whether Better App is beginning to think they might be better off without Prince Harry, their chimpo. Is it time to uh, wave him goodbye? I want to know what the nature of their relationship is, their business relationship, and uh, what they really think of him. And... Uh, what kind of pressure he may be under right now to perform uh, on this chat thing. I wish I could think of the proper name for it rather than calling it chat thing, but chat thing will have to do. So here we go, Shadowland Tarot and a Celtic Cross from Better Up's point of view. What is going on with them? Are they pleased with their chimpo? Are they regretting their chimpo? Are they wanting to delete, delete their Twitter account? What is happening? And the underlying energy is the hanged man, which is quite funny really, because that is the victim card. The, um, the person who feels that they're being punished unduly and also sort of dangling there waiting for execution for the axe to fall. When, the, when you're in the hanged man energy, you are stuck here in limbo. Um, you don't know which way is up. Uh, but while you're hanging there, you're beginning to get a clue about which way is up. So either better up is uh, beginning to get a clue about which way is better up, or Prince Harry is waiting, hanging around, waiting for the axe to fall. Um, Possibly both uh, could be. That's the underlying energy, I think, pretty appropriate. So let's see, heart of the matter from Better Up's point of view. How are they feeling? Well, Knight of Wands, um, enthusiastic message that they've got there with the Knight of Wands. They have their Knight of Wands in Prince Harry. They think somebody that people are going to respond to, that is a leader, that is charismatic, energetic, enthusiastic, that he really believes in this um, stuff that he's trying to sell. Uh, whatever it is that Better App are really trying to sell, some mental health thing. I don't know really how it works, some kind of app or something. Uh, but they're, they're, they're in it. They're in it with him. Um, they think that this is a, a positive situation, that there is a positive message and that he is a good um, ambassador for their brand. Can we use those terms? The challenge that they are currently facing, if they just go and look at their Twitter feed, it would be quite obvious the challenge they are currently facing, the emperor in reverse. Well, that is it. Um, I think that people think that Prince Harry is the emperor in reverse, that he is rather an idiot, he is rather egotistical. When the emperor is in reverse, it is all about ego, rampant ego, out of control ego. But it is also about chaotic leadership, lack of organization, lack of accomplishment, um, lack of follow through, um, just really not being 
um, up for it uh, in terms of your business enterprise, your game. You don't really have the experience, the expertise uh, when the emperor is in reverse. Of course, Prince Harry has a C title uh, with Better Up. They made one up for him to join. But uh, Emperor in reverse, he really doesn't have the goods, he doesn't have the leadership, he doesn't have the new experience, the gravitas, all of that stuff. But he does have plenty of ego. And uh, of course, let's throw in an allegedly hair tarot reading or for fun, as I always say. So what's going on behind the scenes with the better up? What do they really think of Prince Harry? Is he really their knight in shining armor? Oh, they, they love him. They adore him. Two of Cups, they think he's wonderful. Um, they really are enchanted with him, with that card. They think it's a great partnership. It's a great fit for their brand. They're very happy with him, very fond of him. It's very affectionate energy. It's a great partnership. Uh, they're simpatico and it's emotional. There's an emotional connection there. So they're obviously all operating at the same level. I would say it's a pretty low level, but uh, they are not um, at all upset with his performance so far, even though we've got the Emperor in reverse there. So what is their focus right now, better up with Prince Harry? The moon. And the moon is uh, a rather sinister card if you are a company like better up because it is things in the shadows, things that are unknown, unforeseen. They might be worried that something might slip out that they don't want coming out. Possibly Prince Harry might make some kind of a gaffe on that chat thing and uh, make a bit of a fool of himself like he did the previous time when he told everyone to quit their jobs if they weren't happy, their jobs weren't bringing them joy, just quit, he said. And of course he was pilloried for that. So they might be worried that he's going to make a bit of a boo-boo on this chat thing and uh, and be, you know, laughed at, mocked again, because the moon is about things in the shadows, things coming up at inopportune moments when you least want them to appear and embarrass you. And uh, so that could be, they're not quite sure how this is all going to pan out because it's, a, it's about confusion and fear also, the moon. It's major arcana, so there may be some concern amongst the other C titles at Better Up that the things are going to go pear-shaped with Prince Harry. But they do like him, they do love him. He's great fun to have around in the office and um, on those party days where they all dress up like babies and play. Um, obviously, he dresses up like a baby and plays just as happily as the rest of them. A little bit of sarcasm there. So what's been going on in the past with Prince Harry and Better Up? How's it been going? Seven of Wands, well, they're having to defend themselves. They're having to defend this decision they made to appoint him as Chimpo. Um, it was an unexpected need to defend themselves. I think they thought it was going to be glorious. It was all going to go so smoothly. They're going to get tons of investment. Um, I think there's an IPO coming up and they thought that it was all going to be marvellous. But that is being under attack, the Seven of Wands, and having to defend yourself, um, trying to stand there and maintain your high ground, maintain your status, maintain your, your position. And so it's been more challenging than they foresaw it was going to be. And how is it going to be going in the near future? Uh, let's say after this, um, after this chat thing, Queen of Wands in reverse, that's not good. Um, angry woman there, very angry woman. Uh, I don't think it's angry Meghan Markle, it could well be angry Meghan Markle, uh, but uh, what she's got to do with Better Up, I don't think she really has anything to do with them. But there may be um, a, a female a C title in the company who is less than impressed with his performance at this chat thing and wants him out. Uh, because the Queen of Wands in reverse is a very angry energy. It's uh, vicious, a uh, shrew, and um, firebrand, and throwing things, um, holes in the walls, new set of crockery, all of that. That's the Queen of Wands in reverse. She's very angry, very upset, not at all impressed. Things don't look as if they're going to be going the way that Better Up would like them to be going. So let's see some special cards that I've asked in this Celtic Cross. Uh, what is the nature of their financial relationship with Prince Harry? Are they paying him tons of money? Are they hoping that he is going to bring investors along with him? I know it's hard for Tarot to answer questions like this, but just whatever universe has to tell us about the nature of their financial relationship. Ooh, it's been a bitter, bitter disappointment so far. Bitter. 
Three of Swords. I haven't seen that far a card for a while in any of the readings that I've done recently. Three of Three of Swords is heartache, disappointment, betrayal, or a painful, painful disappointment. It is in the reverse, um, but in the reverse often can mean the situation is much worse. Uh, exacerbated it's not improving it's getting worse i think they're very very disappointed with, with what he has brought to the table i suspect from that card that he was supposed to bring investors with him it doesn't look like he's being paid tons of money to be their chimpo but uh it looks as if things have not gone the way they were supposed to go and uh it's funny it's almost a bit of a buckingham palace in the background it isn't but um disappointing very very disappointing disappointing to the point where they don't see it improving at all i get from that three of swords in the reverse so what pressure is prince harry under i think he's under a lot of pressure uh looking at that three of swords what pressure is prince harry under oh yeah ah uh, really this is he was supposed to bring the money he hasn't brought the money five of pentacles wow he has not delivered they wanted him to bring the big spenders along with him that contact book that he had uh, all the big names that he allegedly is so close to wow hasn't delivered hasn't delivered at all five of pentacles and this is painful they're the chimpo lot dancing around around the fire around the campfire having fun one of their break days because of course don't work too hard um and can that be the rough beast slouching back to buckingham palace um, the Chimpo himself. <laughs> I'm going to collapse now, laughing. There is the Chimpo. <laughs> oh dear. There is the Chimpo, watching them dancing around the fire. And he's not being invited to dance around the fire because he didn't bring the money to pay for the party. Oh dear. Ah, oh, this is terrible. This is a terrible, terrible disaster for Prince Harry. Um, the hopes and fears in this situation. I'm reading it from Better Up's point of view. <laughs> I think they hope he would go away with the hermit. Go away and leave us alone. Disappear. Um, much as they're fond of him, they do seem to genuinely like him. And uh, But with the hermit card, that's the isolation card. Go away and think. Um, go away and do some soul searching perhaps they're hoping that he will go away and have a think about how much he wants to be involved with better up in future or he will have a go and go and have a think about those contacts that he promised and try and get some of them on the phone because the hermit is also um, reaching out to experts getting good advice and sometimes um, advice about things like mental health and stuff like that but uh, I think they just really want him to shut up and go away uh, that's as profound as I can get with that card. It's quite interesting because we've got the, her the moon over there. They're worried. They're anxious about what might be coming out of his mouth on this uh, platform that they've set up for him where people actually have to pay to listen to the bilge that he's going to speak. And uh, now they're really thinking, please just go away. Uh, again, as I say, fond of him as they seem to be. So the outcome, the outcome of this four of pentacles um, better up I think are going to be hanging on for dear life to their pentacles their few pentacles that they have and Prince Harry may be hanging on for dear life to the job that he has with them can't see that card can you um, he may be hanging on because it is the card of hanging on for, to what you've got what you've managed to grab and uh, it's a quite a mean spirited little card the four of pentacles you're very concerned with your own self and your own um, well-being financially and as long as you're okay it doesn't matter what's going on with anyone else with the four of pentacles it's a bit of a blocked energy um, but it looks as if he's going to be hanging on for dear life to this position despite what the queen of wands may have to say and despite the wish among some of the people at better up for him to go away it's quite a big wish because it's a major arcana and it looks like he's going to be hanging on by his nails to this job for the time being you can see there's very um pronounced claws in this card and this depiction of the four of pentacles hanging on for dear life to this position that he's got because i think at this stage being the chimpo of better up is pretty much all that prince harry really has that's the reading um, i am virtually melted into a puddle right now so i shall leave you and go away and see you tomorrow <laughs>